These are some of the last photos of Simon Sparrow, taken just before the 18-month-old suddenly became ill and died. The cause of death, an antibiotic-resistant infection called MRSA. A parent's worst nightmare. You're just in a state of complete disbelief. Scientists are predicting that by 2050, superbugs could kill 10 million people a year, more than the number who currently die from cancer. Is this a battle or is this a war? This is full out war. On the front lines of the fight in the U.S., the military, which runs the world's largest surveillance system looking for superbugs. The goal? To find them before there is an outbreak. Once you, all these antibiotics are gone, even your simple routine surgery or even something as simple as a urinary tract infection can become very, very serious. This lab at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research is where scientists recently found one of the world's scariest superbugs, a mutant E. coli bacteria resistant to the antibiotic of last resort. This is the big bad one. This is the big bad guy. Scientists here analyze thousands of samples from military hospitals across the globe. When we find things like this, it's here. It's here in the United States. A looming crisis blamed in part on the overuse of antibiotics. But here's what you can do. Only use antibiotics when necessary. Take the full prescription and keep vaccinations up to date. Small steps to curb a dangerous and growing threat. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Silver Spring, Maryland. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.